Before we get into today's video, I just need to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Timu. Yes, the Porsche is back behind me, running and driving back on the road, and this is a relatively short video that I took way too much time editing. I hope you guys will appreciate it. Timu sponsored today's video. They have a whole bunch of affordable products you can get on their website or on their app, and I have a discount code for you guys as well that will get you 50% off. Not only that, Timu offers free shipping and free returns within 90 days. I was able to pick out some goodies that I needed for the garage because I need to organize it better in here. Plus, I needed some parts for the Porsche, I needed some tools, and I needed some miscellaneous nuts, bolts, and washers because you can always use nuts, bolts, and washers. So I've been meaning to grab a set of these. You car guys will know what these are. These are exhaust hanger pliers. These will come in handy because getting those rubber hangers off is a huge pain in the rear. These will make that much easier. Now for the Porsche, you guys told me to get these and I was already planning on it. I got a whole set of half inch wheel sockets. So they have that plastic or Teflon lining around them that will protect the wheels. These are brand new wheels. I don't want to mess them up. These are definitely going to come in handy. They come in a set of five. 15, 17, 19, 21, and 22 millimeters. So they got all your bases covered there. I'm gonna use that kit all the time. Nuts and bolts, of course, you can never have too many. So I opted with a set of stainless steel Allen heads because you can use these all the time, especially the little ones like these guys. You'd be surprised how often you need itty bitty little screws for your projects. They've got tons of kits like these. It's just the one that I chose. I also went with a set of nice stainless steel washers because it's like bolts, you can never have too many washers. And the last two things I got, I got this broom holder. So it'll help me organize some of the stuff I have laying around the garage. And then I got these, I'll open these up for you now. Various sized Velcro straps, which allow you to hang things up. I've been meaning to get these four things like extension cords. And what's nice is they come in multiple sizes. If you go to the description box and download the Timo app through my link or you use my unique code in the description box, you'll get 50% off. It's a deal that's hard to pass up, especially for things like these wheel sockets. I know almost all you guys could use a set of those and they'll be at an excellent price. Thanks to Timo for the sponsorship. Let's get on with the video of the Porsche. The Porsche. I hate the mornings. I've not driven this car for a bit. I'm a little worried about driving it being so out of whack, but gotta get it aligned somehow, but gotta get some stuff out of the way. Some boxes, truck. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thankfully, there wasn't much traffic because I wanted to take this drive as slow and carefully as possible. You have to remember the entire suspension is new and the alignment is all out of whack. I didn't want to ruin the tires. I didn't want to have some type of catastrophic failure. And luckily, I didn't. Well, I made it. Nothing catastrophic happened. Hopefully they can fit me in. I'm planning on just doing some video editing while they align it, if they can get me in real quick. We back with fresh alignment. I get to actually drive this thing. Man, I miss this car. I haven't driven it. I haven't driven it in weeks because I did so much suspension work. That guys, these KW coilovers, they just blew me away with how freaking nice they ride. Now I have to get my thoughts and impressions on the rest of the suspension because it's all new. Let's go over some things. So I've got the bill here. It actually came in a little bit cheaper. I think they charged me just two hours of time versus like a flat alignment fee. Came out to $254 with tax. So much cheaper than the uh, Porsche dealership who wanted to charge $450. So they got all the alignment specs dialed in for me. You can see here the before and after. Minus one and a half degrees of camber in the front, minus two and a half degrees of camber in the rear. I guess the, uh, the actual specs called for less camber, but that's the best that they could do with this wheel and tire setup. So they said, but only negative one and a half degrees. That's like, that's nothing. I mean, you can see the car, like now that it's driven, it's aligned, everything. It's like, I, I'm so happy with how it came out. I'm so happy with the height, the wheels, the tires, all of it. it in my opinion, it's like the perfect look. It's the perfect stance. It's not a stance car. And I drove it, went up my driveway, didn't scrape anywhere, didn't rub at all while I was driving. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. I 
this was just a short, quick update video on getting the alignment done and how it drives and everything after. It, it drives so, so good. No additional NVH. Steers straight and true. Corners, amazing. I'm so happy and in love with this suspension. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Not a thing. Also wouldn't change a thing about the wheels and tires. They're perfect. Now, yes, I saw your comments about the wheel studs. The reason the studs look like a different length is, well, they're not. They're the same length. It's just the offset of the wheel. So the front has less offset than the rear. That's why the rear studs stick out further. So I'm going to change those. I just have to get some shorter ones for the rear, which I'm going to get from Runline along with some other goodies. So you'll see that in the next video. I think the next video. We'll see. The car isn't finished. I know it totaled up how much I put in this car. That was basically to get it how it is now, which is there, there's no problems with it. There's no major problems. Unless that check engine light comes back for the EVAP, it's good. It's 100% drivable. Everything works. Everything is good and sound and solid. That doesn't mean the car is done. I still have performance mods to do. Yes, so that will be upcoming. I just got back from another drive in the 996. It's great to be back driving this a lot more. Check engine light has not come back yet. I feel like it will. I feel like that evac probe is, is just sitting there waiting for me, but we'll address that at a later time. I went to the gym and then I was getting some drone footage that you guys saw in this video. Fun fact, the main reason I got this drone was because I kept flying my old one into trees. Um, <laughs> this one has like sensors in the front and in the rear and all around, so it should limit my chances of flying that into trees. But anyway, fun fact about the camera is the lens actually rotates vertically. That way I can get stuff for Instagram, make reels and stuff on all TikToks, things like that. So if you aren't following me, consider doing so. I'm trying to make more reels and stuff of my car. I'm, I'm bad at posting to Instagram, but I'm trying to be more consistent. But I gotta announce the winner as to who got closest on the guess and how much money I put into this car. Boy, I just got done <laughs> trekking through all of these comments. Thanks so much for all the comments, guys. It means a lot to me. I try to get back to as many as I can. If, if I don't respond to your comment, it's just because I just didn't have time to get to it. But it looks like the closest guess we had, very close ones, we had a, um, we had a George on here um, who guessed 78. We had a Jason who guessed 95. We had a twisting something. I didn't write down the the rest of his name guessed 81 but my ballers and i quote at my ballers guessed 87,000. i just responded to his comment my ballers send me an email or a dm on instagram and we'll get you a package sent out if you didn't cheat you guessed 87 it was 87 158 someone else guessed 87 500 but 87 on the dot is closer so as long as you were honest you win Congratulations. Thanks to everyone that commented. It really it really does help the algorithm with the, the likes and stuff. So I appreciate it. Now on to some more mods and fixes on the car and uh, some other vehicles that you may see soon.